Merry Christmas everybody! Today Ed and I are buying some holiday gifts for our animals and then on Christmas Day we're gonna give them to our critters! Before we begin, I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring today's holiday special. If you're like me, you've probably waited until the last minute to buy gifts for your loved ones this holiday season. Emily! Emily, 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 Emily! What? Um... It's like five days till Christmas. Yeah. Have you gotten any of our family members Christmas presents yet? No, have you? No. Think they'd want a bearded dragon? Who doesn't want a bearded dragon? That's the better question. We have like six for adoption. Yeah. Maybe we'll give each of our parents bearded dragons. Merry Christmas. Your Christmas presents have holes in them. If this applies to you too, you're probably in what I call the desperate phase of Christmas shopping. Uh, maybe I'll give my mom some of our merch. Unless she'd have more interest in, I don't know, shrimp? Think she'd like shrimp? Instead of frantically buying something that they'll pretend to like at first but will ultimately never use, get them an Audible membership. Currently, I'm listening to the Holiday Host's Guide, which shares over 300 genius ideas to help you plan a successful holiday party. We recently had our employee holiday party here at Snake Discovery, and it was so much fun thanks to this audiobook. By the way, this is Jessica, our female false water cobra that we unboxed on the channel a few years ago as just a little baby. She's getting huge, guys! I think we're only like a year or two away from her breeding. I'm so excited. But I'm getting a little distracted here. So anyway, Audible has something for everybody. They have podcasts, audiobooks, guided meditation, fitness routines, and more. And for a limited time, Audible is offering 60% off of the first three months of membership, bringing it to only $5.95 a month. Just go to audible.com slash snake discovery or text Snake Discovery to 500-500 to give the gift of listening today. And if you gift it to yourself, it's okay, we won't tell anybody. As a member, you'll get unlimited access to the Audible Plus catalog of audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, and more. You'll also get one credit each month for a premium audiobook of your choice. If you really like the audiobook you chose, you can actually share it with a friend completely free. And if you don't like the audiobook you chose, you can exchange it, no questions asked. Again, just go to audible.com slash snake discovery or text snake discovery to 500-500 to get Audible for $5.95 a month today. Thanks again, Audible, for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's enjoy our Christmas special. We know for a fact that some of our animals weren't good enough to get presents from Santa this year. I mean, just look at Rex's room and what she did to it. She's not going to get anything from Santa. So you all are going to be buying gifts actually for our naughty reptiles and maybe some for our good reptiles too. We are going to be using the Rex fish funds that you all have been sending even though you don't have to send us cash. But as promised, anything that was sent to us is going to be used 100% for our animals of course. There's actually some with notes on specifically who they want wanted those funds to go to. So I guess we're buying some goodies for Cheyenne, even though I think Santa's probably gonna get her something too. And maybe some for Rex. There's so much in here, like you guys are way too generous. But we are going to spoil our animals with Christmas gifts. Since we know Santa isn't gonna bring anything for Rex, we kind of have to buy the toys for her, I feel. Yeah. She was pretty naughty. We have to find something that's tough, like can't destroy, but also will want to play with. She'd love to play with this. But, but she'd rip that apart in no time. You know, I do see a couple toys in here that actually might work, so I've got an idea. Oh, and I think a certain Tegu might look cute in an ugly Christmas sweater, so I might have to buy one of these for her too. All right, I don't think I can pay in pounds here in America, no. so that might have to stay in the fish fun box. Christmas, everybody! Well, one day early, anyway. I guess today is Christmas Eve day, technically. But we told Santa that our reptiles would actually be busy visiting family tomorrow on Christmas, so he came a day early. How nice of him! So today, we are celebrating Christmas and seeing what Santa brought for all of our reptiles. First, though, I think we have to get Allie here in the holiday spirit. There we go! Allie is in her ugly sweater for Christmas! Look at that! It's adorable! Okay, Allie, I have a gift here for you from Santa that I think you need to open. We've got this present for her to start with. We have a lot of gifts here, first off. A lot of our reptiles were good this year. A lot of our reptiles were good this year. A lot of these are from Santa. We only had to fill in a couple gaps for our naughty reptiles. Allie, look at this. Here's your first gift. She's like, it's paper. Why would I want paper? <laughs> I might have to help her actually open this. So here we go. Oh, oh, what did Santa get you? <gasps> Santa got you a ball. Look at that, Allie. 
This ball is perfect for you. It's like really tough and it has a handle here that you can bite onto. Oh, this is gonna be a fun toy for you in your enclosure. I think she'll like grab a hold of this part, the little handle here, and maybe she can like, I don't know, thrash it around a little bit. There's a popular tegu on Facebook called Winston the Tegu that I follow. Maybe some other people on here follow him too. And he just loves to like beat up balls and trucks and he just plays with a bunch of like kids toys. So I believe Santa thought that maybe Allie would like to play with a similar toy. Just a slightly smaller scale because she isn't as big as that one. <laughs> She's like, why am I in a sweater? Okay, well, you'll probably play with this, but Hopefully. you know what? I brought you a special gift myself in case you didn't want to play with the toy on camera. Here is your gift from us, Allie. Well, she's smelling in the bag, so there might be something good in there. Oh, do you want what's in the bag? I think she might. Go on. Nope, Allie's still waking up. Okay, well, we'll give her her treat in a little bit. We're gonna actually gonna let her curl up in her bed that a fan sent us. She's gonna just curl up right here. Maybe she needs to wake up a little bit. Perfect, okay. Well, we'll try to give her her gift from us in just a little bit, because she didn't want it right now. <laughs> All right, next is Rocket, our hypo or hypo albino bull snake that we produced a couple of years ago now and held back. And she is a year or two away from breeding, so she's got a little bit of time and growing still to do. But she gets to enjoy a Christmas gift too, and she was actually very good this year. So Santa brought her this gift. She never rocketed out of her enclosure this no, but, year. Yeah, not this year. That's true. That's how she originally got her name Rocket was that she would shoot out of her enclosure like a rocket when it was feeding time but she didn't do that this year. You were very well so behaved. So she gets a good gift from Santa. Rocket, what could this be for you? Does it smell good? Uh, she's just gonna go in it. Well, Rocket is inside of her gift. Maybe I'll open it a bit and we'll see what she has for her Christmas gift. Oh, and she's and coming she's back, back out. out. Rocket, Santa got you a holy roller, just like your younger sibling from last year. I think there's something else in there too. It does look like there's something in there. Rocket, maybe you should check that out one more time. Or not. Okay, or well, climb through it. that's okay. You can ignore the mouse that's inside of the, <laughs> of the ball. Do you want this? It looks like this was part of your gift. Nope, Rocket doesn't want to eat either. <laughs> Apparently nobody wants to eat this early in the morning. So Rocket got a holy roller just like one of our other snakes got last year, just a small, oh jeez, I guess you already like it. That's awesome. They wow. want to play, they don't want to eat. Well, I would say that Rocket approves of her gift already, even though she didn't really want the mouse, that's okay. Now, if you want to get uh, a holy roller for your snake, one thing to keep in mind is that there are two sizes of holes in this product, a bigger one and a smaller one. Make sure the smaller one isn't smaller enough that your snake could get stuck in it. So Santa definitely made sure that the rocket here would not get stuck. You made it out, good job. All right, well I'd say rocket approves of her gift. Oh my gosh, look what I just found behind the tree. It's a pom-pom hat that has nice on the front and naughty on the back. Well, Allie, I'd say Allie was nice. Yeah, okay. Allie was a good girl this year. Aww. <laughs> oh my gosh, you get the nice hat. <laughs> oh, she is the greatest tegu ever. Oh, the tree actually lights up. We didn't forget to turn it on. It's way too early. Yeah. This is why you don't get up early on Christmas. <laughs> anyway, next is one of our Eastern Indigos, one of our brand new snakes. And she, uh, I think has to get in the holiday spirit a little bit before she opens her Christmas present. Although we couldn't find any holiday sweaters for snakes. Thankfully, one of our fans crocheted a sweater for snakes. It fits perfectly. Oh my goodness. All right, now we're in the holiday spirit. I don't know how long it'll last. She might just crawl right out of it, but that looks <laughs> adorable for the time being. <laughs> Let's see, you have this gift from Santa. What in the world could he have gotten you? This is definitely not a mouse. What did you get? Well, it's a foraging toy for you. All right, well, we were actually just talking about these in our Eastern Indigo video, how these are actually a smarter species of snake, which I have yet to actually see in person. They try to eat their water bowls in their caves. They're it's just very food motivated. Very food motivated. We'll see if they're as smart as everybody says. At least you're very cute. Here's the foraging toy that you got. So there's a bunch of slidey pieces on this and you can hide a piece of food in it. And then the snake has to actually move this piece aside in order to uncover the food underneath. Maybe we'll do a whole video on how you guys interact with foraging toys when she's back at the facility and comfortable and not upset that she's being held. Next up is Cheyenne, our blue and gold macaw. She's the best trainer of them all. And she's actually been wearing the sweater for a long time. I couldn't in our stash of sweaters that were sent to us by fans, I couldn't find a Christmas themed one. She has a 4th 
the July one, which is awesome. Since I couldn't find a sweater, she she's gets to be Santa. Gonna be Santa. You know she what's looks happening. Enthused by that whole thing. She already knows. Yeah, she's like crap. Ta-da! Yeah, she looks so happy. It's Christmas. She's loving it. Look at that. Okay. Well. Thanks, Allie. Thanks, Allie, for holding on to that for us. She's just asleep. Yeah, she's just bed. asleep over here. Like, can we just go back to the facility now, guys? I mean, it's warm by the fireplace. That's so she's true. She's probably liking it. You are <laughs> naughty. Aww. Although naughty. Santa already brought her gifts, so it's a loophole in the system, isn't it? <laughs> That's true. You can be naughty on Christmas Day if you are good for the rest of the year. As long as your gifts are already there. Okay, I'll, fine. I'll take this off. She is hating them. But you're so cute, Cheyenne. And you get toys. And you get toys. Listen to this one. I'll help you open this one, and then I'll take the hat off. You can open the next one, because you have two gifts this year. Yeah, you are not that good. But... No. It's a new foraging toy. This is probably because last year she got a foraging toy, and she has mastered it so well that it takes her like 10 seconds to get the treats out of it now. So it was time for her to get a new one. She's going to have to pull out each drawer, and then there's treats inside of each one. But here, this is a new toy for you. Look at that. Now sometimes with foraging toys and birds, if they don't understand the concept right away, uh -huh. you leave it open with just a treat inside, and then they learn that there's food inside of these drawers. Over here, look. Get that treat. Yay! Yay! You got it! All right, so foraging toy, I think is gonna be a hit with her. And we have one more gift for Cheyenne. There you go. Wow. Look at this, Cheyenne. Oh. oh, 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 this got serious all of a sudden. Oh, she found something good in there. Yeah, you better get that out. There you go. Oh, and you dropped it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> She's so proud of herself. I'd say that Cheyenne approves of her Christmas gift. So should we do a, another snake next? Sure, the last snake. Yeah, all right. All right, this is Mitosis, our Conda phase hognose snake that we produced a couple of years ago and held back. And she is looking so pretty and she's growing really well. She was a bit of a picky eater at first, so she's a little bit small for her age, but now she's eating like a champ. And her name is Mitosis because it looks like she has cells going through Mitosis down her back. Mitosis has been a wonderful addition to our crew or to our family. And you've been such a good snake that Santa brought you a gift specifically. That's a big gift for a little snake. <laughs> My goodness, maybe Santa Santa got one size too big. Oh, you're gonna check it out for oh, yourself? Well. All right, we're gonna explore a gift before we open it, just like Rocket did, evidently. Oh, you got a ceramic cave, Mitosis. She'll grow into it, yeah. I might set this on the floor and see if she goes in. Interesting, it's like Santa shop at Snake Discovery because these are available in our store. These are actually made by a really talented artist in the Twin Cities who makes things with ceramics. So this is a cool cave. Are you gonna go in? Yep, there you go. You just need to be tickled a little bit. Tickle, tickle, tickle. There you go, Mitosis, a new cave for you. Who are these two gifts for? These two remaining gifts are for a very special reptile that is not here today, but instead is at the zoo. So I think we're gonna have to open these at our facility. These are from Ed and myself because there's no way Santa would give a gift to this reptile this year. All right, we are at the facility, as you can see, and yep. we're bringing Rex's two gifts that we bought her, well, I guess you guys all covered since this was using Rex's fish funds because we knew Santa wasn't going to give her anything no. this year for being. Oh. Wait, what's that? What is this? Two Rex from Santa. Oh, Santa did bring her something. Rex, you were not good enough to get a gift from Santa. What would Santa have gotten, Rex? I don't know. I guess we'll open that first. Is Santa confused? Yeah, Santa might be confused. Santa might be mixing Rex up with another Rex. Yeah, maybe another. Another alligator that was good. Yeah, yeah, it can't be you. Here, I'll open it right in front of you so you can watch. Look at that scowl. Yeah, she just is, well, I wouldn't say she's angry. She just thinks she's better than us. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I pooped in the corner today, guys. Go clean, clean it up. Clean it up. All right, what did Santa give you? We got you. Oh! <laughs> you I knew you weren't very good, Rex. You got Cole. That's how naughty she was. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, yep. okay. Santa just yep. got her. <laughs> wow, dare you call, say I get coal, Santa. <laughs> this is what you deserve, but because we love you so much, we still got you a couple gifts. Yep. Since I don't trust you to not eat the paper as we're unwrapping this together, I'm just going to unwrap it in front of her. Yep. So, Rex, you've got this. I think you're going to like it, seeing as how much you're enjoying your toys lately. We got you a Kong Jumbler toy! 
Yeah. Look. So as you beat it up, we might beat you back a little bit. It might a little. There's a good. There's a tennis ball in here, and we are really playing with this. This is. And a... it squeaks. Oh, it. Oh, that's right. It squeaks. <laughs> Look, Rex. <laughs> you get to play with this. <laughs> I don't know what she thinks. No. She's like, it's not food, guys. Yeah. I only play with things I can eat. So now in her enclosure, when she's playing with this, we might hear a squeak in the yeah. zoo. That'd be hilarious. That would be funny. Like yes. we're just like, what is that? Oh, Rex is playing. Ah, it's Rex. <laughs> There's a couple handles on here, so she might be able to grip it and death roll yep. it too. And we found that she likes a particular size of jolly ball. Apparently that size is too big for her. Yep, she can't that... get her mouth around that oh, one. She's been playing with this one. Yeah, I can see her playing with that one. That one she can get her mouth around. Yeah, but she seems to really prefer the size of jolly ball that's in between those. Yep. So this and is about she the... really likes that one. She loves that chuck it ball. Oh my she, gosh. Wow, she's put a lot of teeth marks in it. And it's holding up. I was watching a couple clips. She takes that and she carries it out of her pool and Aww. brings it around and puts it back in her pool. Do you like your chuck it ball? And I wouldn't have known that if it weren't for the stream. So thank you everybody who watches Rex's live stream and clips when she plays with toys. Cause that's what I go back on and I watch and I wouldn't have known other than seeing tooth marks that she was playing with her toys this much. Aww. Yeah look, this is for you. You get to play with this. Oh, but you still have one more gift too. Yep, you got one more gift. You are that eh, of a Good, girl. Bad, eh, <laughs> eh, of a girl, there we go. Look, this is for you too. We and everybody who watches you loves you so much. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah. You might be a stinker and you may have destroyed a room of our house, but you're still our baby. And now you have your own room to destroy. Yeah, and this is what we got you. Another chuck it ball. Another chuck it ball, because she loves the orange one Except so much. Except this one glows in the dark. It glows in the dark. Yeah, hold it up to the light okay. and then we'll go into the cave and I'll go oh, shut off. Go. I'll go shut off the lights in the cage. Okay. Flip. All right. Okay, you ready? ready? Yeah. Okay. And. <gasps> oh my gosh. Whoa, I can see it from here. This isn't even in complete darkness and you can see it so well. That's uh, I can't see you, but I can see it. Nice. That's awesome. Focus on like, the, there we go. Nice. So we're thinking that when Rex's lights go off at night, you'll be able to see this toy for yeah. a little bit still. Yeah. We're hoping anyway. We hope it works. I think Christmas we're gonna colors. take out the two Jolly Balls in there. We'll and probably give take her... that one out, but we'll leave that one. Well, I don't want there to be too many toys. Should I don't we? think there'll be too many that way. Well, what are we gonna leave in there? The red one, the orange, and the green? Yeah. And that and toy? And that one. Yeah. So there'll be four toys. You don't think that's too much? No, I don't think that's too much. I guess we can adjust if needed. Yep. Yeah. In the future we can adjust, but she I'm does. sure Rex will love it. Yeah, we It'll can... be like a little kid spreading their toys all around their room. Exactly. So tonight, I think we're going to give these toys to Rex. Uh, yeah, later today, we'll explain later in the video. All right, well, these are <laughs> Rex's toys. Aww, she like loves this? them. I think you're going to love these toys. She's loving playing with toys so much Yeah, here. she is. Anyway, we have uh, probably been away from home for a little long, so. Yeah. Oh, hi, yes, hi there. I'll give these to you in a little bit, okay? We left Cheyenne with matches, so we should probably go back home. Oh, that's right. Well, we are back home now and all of the Christmas gifts have been opened. I can't wait to see how our animals like them. I really hope Allie likes her ball and that Rex likes her new toys, which by the way, tonight at 4.30 Central Time, we are going to be giving Rex her new toys from Christmas on the Twitch live stream. So tune into that and we'll see how she reacts to them. And thank you everyone, by the way, for uh, everyone who sent Rex fish funds. All of that was put towards the animals and Santa, of course, we want to thank Santa for sending our animals some gifts. But no, seriously thank you everybody for helping us out and just supporting us all year long you guys are all amazing Allie's getting kind of squirmy she knocked off her hat so I think we're gonna wrap up this video but thank you as always one more time to our patreon backers as well for your contributions and your support and we'll see you next time Merry Christmas Merry Christmas Allie and Cheyenne